control of two towns in northern Iraq, but they lost control of another town not far from Erbil. In Baghdad, a political fight between the president and prime minister is threatening the government at this point. Let's bring in Ali Adib El Naimi. He's an Iraqi journalist and a former news editor at the Baghdad Bureau of the New York Times. Uh, Mr. El Naimi, thanks for being with us. I want to ask you about that breaking news, first of all, that there is a new nominee for prime minister of Iraq to replace Al Maliki. Who is he and what can you tell us about him? Uh, the new nominee is uh, Haider Al Abadi and he's a senior Dawa party member, so he comes from uh, Maliki's uh, political party. Uh, he's one of his close aides and companions, but that doesn't necessarily make him another Maliki. Uh, Abadi is more uh, open, uh, he's intelligent, and he's been in the government uh, uh, since uh, 2005, I think. So is Maliki just going to hand the reins over to him? Uh, from what I'm hearing from, what I'm hearing from Baghdad, uh, no, Maliki is sort of deploying his own security forces. He's pushing uh, officers and uh, employees of the government to uh, uh, start uh, demonstrating in Baghdad. Uh, asking for him to stay. He's trying to pressure uh, <clears throat> the political uh, coalition, the shared political coalition, to keep him at for a third term. Uh, I don't think this will happen because at, at this point every, everyone is against him, not just the Kurds, so, the Sunnis, even the, even the, the Ayatollahs and Najas, the, the politicians, shared politicians, all of them are against him. So as this political crisis unfolds in Baghdad, the U.S. airstrikes have continued in and around Erbil. Was the U.S. right to get involved militarily at this time? Definitely. Definitely right. This, this is the right decision. Uh, I think actually it is uh, a bit late, but it is good to be there late than never. Uh, we, we could have avoided this humanitarian crisis if the uh, Americans interfered uh, earlier, but uh, I think at this point it is uh, possible to uh, put a limit to the advance of ISIS and Hopefully in the near future we can have, we can see the retreat of ISIS. We heard a lot of lawmakers say on the Sunday morning talk shows that ISIS, now Islamic State, presents a direct threat to the United States. Do you agree with that? Definitely, yes. In what sense? In what sense? Uh, ISIS is a jihadi uh, offshoot of Al-Qaeda. They're even more extreme than Al-Qaeda. They adopt the same, uh, the same ideologies of Al-Qaeda. So once they establish a base in the Middle East, a broad base, uh, actually an entity that has its own resources, now they have oil wells, now they have um, uh, manpower, people coming from Europe and the US to fight with them. In no time you will have uh, people heading to Europe and the United States and you will see another 9-11. So it is, it is crucial for the security, not just for Iraq and Syria and the Middle East, but for the security of the whole world to stop ISIS from, uh, from advancing, to actually try to uh, not just to limit their, uh, their influence, but to hopefully finish this group. They are, they are a threat to, national, uh, to international security. Ali Adib Al Naimi, uh, an Iraqi journalist and former news editor at the Baghdad Bureau Chief of the New York Times. Thanks so much for your insights this morning. Thank you. Del. Stephanie, the Taliban claiming responsibility this morning for a deadly car bombing in Kabul. 